Hey guys, Andre and Craig here from Wheel Suppliers. And today we're gonna break down everything you need to know about wheel offsets. But before we begin, we wanna say a big thank you to Curva Concepts and Hard Rock Off-Road for supplying us the wheels we need for today's video. So let's jump right into it. What is wheel offset? Wheel offset is essentially the relationship between where the center line and the mounting hub of the wheel is. There's a range of offsets from negative to zero to positive. But let's take a look at what that looks like on a wheel. So today we have the Curva Concept CFF70, which is the latest release from their Flow 4 series. And we also have the Hard Rock H907 from their Concave 4 series. Now, if we're looking at the side angle of the wheel, if you imagine a line splitting the middle of your wheel, that's your center line. If your mounting hub is aligned with your center line, you're at a zero offset. Now, if you're running a negative offset, your mounting hub is closer to your rotors, pushing your wheel out more. But if you're running a positive offset, your mounting hub is closer to street side, pushing your wheel in more. So let's take a look at what a positive offset wheel looks like on the car. So this is a 2020 BMW M340i, and it's running the Curva Concept CFF70 in a 19 by nine plus 28 up front, and a 19 by 10 plus 35 in the rear. So what does all of that mean? This car comes originally with an 18 by eight and a half wheel with an offset in the mid 40s. If I was to change the wheel to what I have now with the 19 by 10 without considering the offset, that would effectively push the wheel inside the fender well. That would cause issues with brake clearance and suspension clearance. This car is running a 35 offset, which puts the wheel flush with the fender line. If I was to run a 30 offset, that would push the wheel five millimeters out, causing the wheel to poke. Let's take a look at what offsets look like on an off-road application. Now here we have a 2022 Ford Bronco Badlands package. We're running a 17 by nine, negative 12 offset. Now in most off-road cases, you'll notice you'll see a plus one or a zero offset. We're running negative 12s here, so we can push the wheels out more and give it that aggressive look that we want. Now something to consider, because we're running 37 inch tires, we actually had to cut the crash bar to make sure that when we're full locked on those wheels, we have no rubbing issues whatsoever. Now, most of the time, your offset's gonna be stamped on the barrel of your wheel, but let's say it's not, so I'm gonna show you how to measure that right now. First, you wanna put your wheel face down on a flat, even surface. Then you wanna get a cardboard or something else that's flat and even to give you an indicator of where to stop. Grab a measuring tape and from the floor, measure up to your line. Now over here, we have 275 millimeters. If we divide that number by two, it gives us our center line, which is 137.5. Now the next thing I'm gonna to wanna to measure is from the mounting hub up to our indicator line. And that's gonna give us 177.5 millimeters. Now we're gonna take that number, subtract it by our center line, and that's gonna give us our offset, which is a plus 40. Now, if this happened to be below 137.5 and we subtracted it, that would give us a negative number and a negative offset. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned a thing or two about wheel offsets. If you still need more information, please feel free to visit our website at wheelsuppliers.com where you can find more resources. Keep an eye out for more cool content like this and we'll see you next time.